All right, so you're interested in Little River. Well, we're headed there right now. Going to be showing you everything there is to see in Little River. The best places to go, some cool things to do, a few nice places to live, and a lot more. So let's go check it out right now. What's up everybody? I'm Elliot with Myrtle Beach area. I make videos every week about what it's like to live, work, and play here in the Myrtle Beach area. So be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you can be notified when a new video comes out. So I just parked underneath the Little River Bridge, which stretches across the intercoastal waterway. It's Highway 17, and if you're traveling north, you can split off to Highway 9. But there's a boat ramp on either side of the bridge underneath it, and just up from the east side is Captain Archie's, which I did a whole video on. You need to check that video out. Captain Archie's is one of the coolest places to go. They have a bike night, so on and so forth. But be sure to check out that video on Captain Archie's. So anyway, they still have a swing bridge, which is like the trademark of Little River. You always see the lighthouse and you always see the swing bridge. So they still have the swing bridge, which closes down every time a boat goes through, which is pretty often in the summertime. So the sun finally came out. I'm over here at Harbor View, which is a driving range and par three course. Matter of fact, they've got a big putt-putt course right next door. A lot of attractions up here in Little River, even though it's a like I said, a little smaller of a town, but they've got a big car show going on out here today in the parking lot of the driving range. Always fun stuff going on. The real nice community up here in Little River is Eastport. It's a golf community, and as you know, Myrtle Beach area is the golf capital of the world. Real nice golf course. Every time I drive by, there's always people golfing, and they have some really nice single family homes. My team and I sold several in here. Real nice community, Eastport. One of the popular communities up here in Little River is Lightkeepers Village. It's a real nice condo community located right on the intercoastal waterway. I've sold a handful of units in here and everybody's been real happy. They got a nice pool. Of course, you're close to the boat ramps, the boat slips, the jet ski rentals and everything like that. Now, the way that Lightkeepers Village got its name was because of a lighthouse. Now, I'm down here right now. The very end of Lightkeepers Village is called Lighthouse Point. Now, this lighthouse behind me is called the Governor's Lighthouse. It was commissioned in 1984 to honor all of the governors in South Carolina, both past and present. So I'm walking down to the Intercoastal Waterway right now. You can see Lighthouse Village, Lighthouse Point, right on the intercoastal. And just a hop, skip, and a jump over behind me is Coquina Harbor Marina. We're going to go check that out right now. about time to stop and eat lunch. I'm up here at Mulligan's. You have got to check out their prime rib. One of the local restaurants, bar and grill here in Little River, and they are known for their prime rib. You got to check them out. All right, we're inside Mulligan's and look who I just happened to run into. The number one concrete. By the way, check out the video on the best concrete company in Myrtle Beach, Seacoast Concrete. What you eating, Brad? Prime rib, best in town. That's it. Mulligans, you got to check them out, their prime rib. Also, real quick shout out to a boarding facility called Salty Paws up here in Little River. They're the ones that I go to when I take my dogs, when I need to go out of town, get groomed, what have you. So if you're coming to the area, you're staying somewhere, you got dogs, they won't allow the dogs and you need somewhere to keep them, check out Salty Paws. All right, so I'm up here at the waterfront in Little River in front of a restaurant called Crab Catchers. So you want to catch crabs, come up here and get you something to eat. Now, a lot of the restaurants up here are on the water, so you can sit overlooking the water and enjoy the boats going by. You can see the boats coming in and out, the boat slips, the jet skis, the whole nine yards. And just some general information about Little River, it's basically 20 miles north of the hustle and bustle of Myrtle Beach. So it's traditionally been known as a quaint fishing town. But like I said, you can live up here reasonably. There's, it's not as busy as Myrtle Beach. There's a lot to do. Uh, it's basically based around the intercoastal waterway. And if you wanna know more, 
They've got their own website, littleriversc.com. Check them out, littleriversc.com. Now, Little River is the oldest and probably the most unique community along the Grand Strand. Some of the things that they're known for up here, fishing charters, dolphin tours, jet ski rentals. They have the casino boats, which we'll talk about in a minute, and outdoor festivals. Now, one of the most popular festivals they have up here is probably the Blue Crab Festival. It's a great place to go. Even though I'm not a crazy seafood fanatic, I like to go to it every year because I always bump into somebody I hadn't seen in a while, talk real estate, end up seeing somebody who's interested buying, selling a home. And there's a lot of local businesses that have their seafood and vendors. So it's a great way to support the local community. So Little River Blue Crab Festival. Casino boats. Right behind me, you will see the big sign that says casino. It's the Big M Casino Boat. Now they have two boats up here and what they do is they go out into international waters and put the anchor out so they can gamble legally because that type of gambling, Vegas style gambling is not normally legal in South Carolina. Hence why they go out to international waters but they go out twice a day there's two boats there used to be two different companies but big m bought both of them out so there's two big m casino boats like i say they go out twice a day international water it's about a three four hour trip you can book it they have live entertainment they have food the whole nine yards table games slot machines the big m casino finally came to the end of the video and what do you know the sun is finally starting to come out just my luck trying to peek out so we took you on the waterway, we showed you the swing bridge, the Little River Bridge, the lighthouse, the waterfront, a few cool places. So if you want to know more about Little River, Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach, the entire Grand Strand, be sure to call me, text me, or email me. All my contact info is below, and people call me every week with questions about moving to the Myrtle Beach area. Also, if you're looking to buy a home, sell a home, invest here, move here, oceanfront condos, investment properties, single family homes, what have you, don't hesitate to contact me. Remember, you wanna sell it? Call Elliot.